Now, if I recall, this is a custom engine. Very nice. This is Barricade. And it is a beaut. And I just goofed. Hang on, let's try that again. Because I tried to full screen it, which was probably a big no-no. Let's try that again. Does this work with... Nope, doesn't work with my controller, unfortunately. Hopefully it will in the future. But that's alright. This is Barricade. Let's check it out. So, there's one player and two player options. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with the one player being a, you know, forever alone type. So let's go ahead and jump right in into the arcade mode. Now, one thing I need to point out is the polish. This is so beautifully polished. Look at this character select screen. It kind of reminds me in a way of uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, at least in the way the, the background looks, in the way that the animations are done. That no video, oh, that's beautiful. That is really cool looking. You got the random options there. Really nice looking. The, there's such a beautiful level of detail and polish to all this. The sprites look wonderful. They all follow the same aesthetic. They have a beautiful amount of shading and highlighting on them. They look very metallic, which is what they should because they're all robots. Really digging the feel. They all have their own little stats right there, though I don't fully understand them just yet. I'm going to take the middle ground dude right here because he's winking at me. And I appreciate somebody who winks at me. I appreciate you. We'll start on easy mode. Match in progress. Alright, here we go. Incoming. So what am I doing? Well, let's try to find out. So I'm moving around and shooting. Oh, here we go. So if I hold down, I can shoot at certain things. I'm sure I'm on some kind of a timer right here. So I have a yellow bullet, so I want to shoot. Green goes to red, I'm guessing. Switches it to green. Red goes to green, switches it to red. Blue goes to... Okay. I kind of think I get it. So if I aim carefully, I can aim within a certain grid of what I'm looking at. Let's shoot the explodey thing. Look at that. Things blow up. Good times. Nice. There's definitely kind of a Mega Man feel to the characters, but I'm honestly okay with that. I don't see any kind of issue with an homage like that. Alright, so that kind of destroyed that. Let's go with red on red. So the same color destroys whatever we're on. Pretty straightforward. Got the color lined up, and shoot. Oh, that was wrong. Is there any way to cancel a shot, I wonder? It doesn't seem like there is. So if you're not lined up just like you thought you were, it might be a little SOL. Like right there, I thought I was close enough to hit the green, but I wasn't. There we go. So keep busting them blocks. Oh, we have a multicolor coming up. Now we get this guy down here. Let's uh, shoot that up. Probably should use the multicolor on something cooler. All right, so now we got green to deal with. So we're going to change this to green. Shoot it a few times. Change the green. Shoot it with the multicolor. That's pulsing. Why is that pulsing? Ooh, big boom. So we try to make as many combos as we can, and it looks like this is all based off of uh, activity. If I'm not keeping up, then it looks like that bar on the left right there that says CH is going to expire, and then I'm going to run out. Now, if I crush the blocks by having other blocks fall on them, it looks like I can actually try to break them that way, too. It's a lot of nice little detail to this game. Ooh, what's all this stuff? What did I just get? Oh, boy. So, maybe that's the alternate thing I was looking at before. I can see this being very fast-paced, actually, if you're playing against another person, especially. Very nice. Love this background as well. Pulsating means it's nearly destroyed, so that green one's gonna blow if I hit it with something. There we go. Uh, red. There we go. Try to get yellow. But I could combo it up if I do it right. Alright, looks like my power-ups are wearing off. Oh, I can't aim that high. No! And I can't aim that high either. No! Hmm. How about just that, then? That actually turned that other block yellow. It got hit so hard, it turned yellow. Crazy. Ah, I can't move out of that. No. If I could press B during that, could I maybe um, cancel out of it? Like, if I realize, oh, I can't reach that. Oh, that ain't good. That That's a lot of skulls. I don't like the looks of them skulls. What do the skulls mean? Okay, skulls are gone. Phew. Now let's get this little guy and try to... Oh, nope, guess not. Well, shoot. Okay, how about you? A little blue into you, blue. There it is. A little blue magic here. Not bad, two combo. Not bad is what I shoot for in life. I uh, can't reach that high. Shot go bye-bye. I caught a virus. I don't like viruses. They're not good for humans or robots. 
So these can actually chain, I realize. I just changed two colors at the same time. That wasn't enough. Oh, boy, these things are getting tougher. Oh, no. I'm getting so weak. Green. There we go. Kill this thing. There we go. A little more time back right there. Music's good, but I feel like it gets a little repetitive pretty quickly because it's pretty loopy pretty quickly. Not a lot going on. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't mean to do that. But I did it. Boom. So the gameplay is pretty good. Uh, looks like we're actually about to finish this round. Maybe. If I get lucky enough, at least. I can just shoot these off into space, right? Yeah, there's a little bit of a loss. It looks like I lose some of my CH for it. Yellow there. Purple here. So, you're giving me bullets that I can't use. I mean, I could use them, but I have to kind of change colors. But I don't really want to. So I guess it's not that big of a loss to use them like that. There it is. Level complete. Charge 100%. Nice. Rank zero. All right. Woo! Zero points. I'm horrible. And down we go again in the next round. I would love to see the multiplayer in this. Unfortunately, I do not have anyone to play it with at the moment. I can see this being very high, quick paced, you know? High intensity. Better players would probably line those shots up in the big combos. Outdated build. Oh, that's fine. No, bugs are expected. Bugs are totally expected. I have no problem playing an outdated build. Alright, so that was like a power shot. And that had a cool effect where it actually showed the muzzle shoot or starting up, you know? That was pretty cool. Oh. There it is. Oh yeah, I love the visuals. These are definitely... Oh, that's a virus. Whoops, and now I'm going all reverse. Left is right, right is left. My shot radius is lowered. I don't even know what I'm shooting. Uh, let's get you. There we go. Big old charge shot. Yeah, I, I hope in the future to hear more music out of this, because I like the music, but it's just not quite enough to sustain. This is this is a very pretty consistent loop going on right here, and eventually you're gonna the, the player's gonna hear it so much they just kind of memorize it, and then it kind of starts losing feeling. You know what I mean? All right, how about you? Uh, let's try to bust you, huh? Let's hoping that deal more damage to the red dude. Uh, let's change your color. Change your color. Now, I'm not 100% sure how to get combos. I thought it'd be uh, more along the lines of if they're linked together, you, they would combo up if they blew up together. Like, let's say these guys. Will, will they blow up together if they're the same color? Oh, that's how that works. Okay. So I want to change them all to make maximize my combo as best I can. So, like that right there. But it only works if I get the bigger guys? Is that how that works? Oh, there goes my chance for that combo. There we go. That's looking like a big combo. So if I blow up the big one, maybe that will give me a big combo. Let's give it a shot. Yellow here. Get them all together. One big happy family. Uh, blow you up. Nope, not quite. How about you? Let's see if we can get that down, actually. Make you red, even. There we go. Try for a big combo. Let's see how this goes. Purple shot. Alright, so if I blow... Mm, let's get him first, actually. I want to make this a big happy family reunion of death. Alright. Nah, it didn't quite work. Not quite sure I fully understand how the combo system works. The new, the new build has much better music. Well, that's good to hear. Because I really like the opening menu system uh, music. That sounded really great. Maybe I need to kind of soften them up more first. Is that what it is? Got to soften them up in order to get them to explode with the rest of them. So, like, if I get him... Uh, shoot you out there. So, let's soften you guys up. Oh, well, you're one-shotters, so that ain't going to help. And I'm running out of time, so I might as well start killing things. Hmm. Blue, purple. Dang it, I want my combos. You go into the yellow. Oh, crap, I didn't move over far enough. Alright, you're going purple now. Deal with it. Uh, get that. Those are all starting to pulsate, though. That's that's good. Let's see if I live long enough to see it happen. 
Now, with enough skill, I'm sure you can start blasting through this stuff really quick. Alright, we're getting into the danger zone. Let's pop these. There it is. That's more what I'm looking for. And look at that charge go right up. So it's definitely a lot more about taking your time than it is about just firing willy-nilly at everything. Try to get your combos maximized. Get more points. It's a good system. I like it. So we'll try... Turn you. And turn you. And just try to soften them up a bit, right? Pop that guy. Uh, turn you purple. Purple. Hmm, crap. Kill this guy. There we go. Now I got the big red. Big red one. Get this guy over here. Oh, can't reach him. Ah, dang, I didn't press over enough. I'm killing myself here. Alright, here we go. Red. Get him. They all look pretty pulsating-y, and I love that pulsate effect. That looks really great, actually. Uh, let's try getting you up here, softened up, and then... Big Boom? Let's see, Big Boom? Ah, most of them, but not all of them. I thought that would have gotten all of them, especially because it was in my crosshairs. Guess that's not how it works. I'm working off misassumptions here, but, you know, if I were a smart player, I would have read the manual. Ah, not far enough. I really wish there was some ability to cancel out of your shot. Like, if I press B right here, canceling out of that would be great. I do love those crumble effects when they when the block smash. It looks really cool. Uh, just shoot you out into space. Get you there. Green. Purple. Red. Ah, dang it. Not far enough. Literally, like, one more press of the left button. That was it. Alright, how about red over here, huh? Get blue here. Actually, what am I doing? Get blue up there. That's why I'm not doing that. Yellow. Blue. Oh, nice. So I can use the uh, the tough blocks to kind of crush them. I like that. Got you. And I got you. Rank F. All right. That's better than zero. <laughs> all right. So this is arcade mode. So this is probably going to keep going until I stop. So let's actually back up a little bit. If I can. Is there a way to back out? Oh, pause. There we go. Let's go ahead and return. And I want to see, because there's a lot of other options right here. These guys have different aiming crosshairs, different amounts of power, different amounts of speed. And there's even a lot of unlockables. I don't know if they're available yet, but they're there. But what I want to see, let's see what Marathon's like. Apparently it's not like. So, yeah, that didn't happen. Let's go back to Arcade. Let's try a different character. Let's try the high speed, low everything else. This guy, we'll try it on hard. See what the intensity is like in a really tough environment. Let's see what the top level play looks like. Alright, here we go. There we go. Getting that damage out there quick. Alright, so let's turn you blue. Let's get you over here. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, pop you over here. There we go. A little bit of the damage. Yellow. Go over here. Now this one has more of a wide angle, so I have a little more uh, reachability with this guy. I like that about him. Get red up there. I can't reach him, though. You see, I can't reach that red dude. So I'll kind of shoot it there for now. There it is. Get red over here. Yellow. I have no, no time for yellow. Purple, though, I can probably take care of that. Alright, so. What I need is a lot of blues. Close enough. I guess the kind of... Is, is it splash damage? Is that what determines what what dies? Maybe that's why I've been missing this whole time. Yellow up there. There we go. Get some green damage up here. Okay. Definitely much more... Much higher intensity, which feels good. I like that. So there's definitely room for skill cap in here, thanks to the charge meter and whatever you end up getting with it. Like, I'm probably doing terrible compared to a high-level player, but a high-level player would have a lot of fun with this game. Especially, again, playing against another high-level player. Dang it. Goofed on that. This guy definitely feels like he's a high-level character. Kind of has to be. Because he can smash blocks in one hit, depending on their size. Like right there, that's a combo of two real quick. No fuss, no muss. There we go. Ready to pop those two, if I can find a blue... 
Or I can change their color if I got it right. Uh, purple, purple, purple. That's a good combo over there. Good get. Nice. Keeps you alive. And I like the way that you have the ability to have dynamic characters, thanks to the fact that they can all have their different powers, they can all have their different uh, spreads, their different uh, speeds. It's a nice little bit of uh, change-up right there. Yellow, yellow, yellow. I ain't got nothing for yellow. You're yellow. I can't reach red. Uh, you. Oh, I didn't hit his buddy. I wasn't close enough. Got you, though. Whoops. Missed. It's definitely got an intensity to it, especially on the higher levels. So I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see if we can get these guys over here. And can we get... Ah, not all of them, though. I think that's where my biggest uh, loss, my biggest confusion is, is when will it actually work? When will I actually get the combo? Because I don't seem to always know the answer to that. Sometimes I do get the combo, sometimes I don't. And I'm like, oh, well, I kind of, I, I lined up for that and everything, and I got nothing. Shoot. But yeah, the biggest piece of advice I give right now is definitely give the player the ability to back out of their attack. If they're not close enough, they have the ability to course correct. There we go, nice little two combo right there. One thing you can do to try to make it more obvious what's going to pop is when you're highlighting something, if it's something that's going to pop, and something around it's going to pop, then like, you know, kind of make them flash or something like that, you know, give it a different color change right there. Just give the player an indication, hey, this thing's going to pop. Ah, no, not close enough. There goes my shot. There goes a lot of my shots. Ah, crap. I can't afford to... Okay, a little bit of safety right there. I can't reach that high, can I? Uh-oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Come on, I want to make it through this one. There we go. I might live. Maybe not. Uh, okay, we change it to that. Dodge the purple. Hit that. Get the green. Reshuffling. All right. Because I'm so short. Incoming. There it is. Get him first because no reason... And then I need a yellow. There it is. Rank zero. All right. Yeah, so this game definitely has a lot going for it, I think. It's got an excellent arcade style that I think a lot of people could enjoy. And I could definitely see this being a lot of fun for people who love, uh, you know, getting together and doing puzzle games together. There's not a lot of options out there for high-intensity puzzle games. Poyo Pop is probably one of the more popular ones. And this gives that kind of intensity in a way that's never really been seen before. It's a very unique concept that I really dig. I can really get behind something like this. I mean, puzzle games. I love puzzle games. I'm, I'm working on a puzzle game. That's how much I love puzzle games. But they can be hard to get just right. I think this game strikes a good balance between accessibility for new players and uh, enjoyment for high-level players. Like, I think just about anybody could pick this up and pretty quickly figure out how it works as long as they know the controls. And that's a huge plus for your game. Gigantic. Now, whether or not they'll be really good at it, like the high-level players, that's something they'd have to work towards. And in a lot of ways, that's what Poyo Pop is like. It's where, you know, you can match things up real quick, but the good players are going to know how to arrange things, so big combos will be ready. And I could see that being something that could really get an audience uh, going on a game like this. So, let's see. Yellow. Get the yellow. Plus, the, uh, con the concept of having unlockable characters, that's going to give a lot of replayability to your game. That's nice. And yellow into nothing. Blue into this guy. Get over here. Get over here, the only blue dude. Thank you. But I can't reach those guys because I'm so short. You. Power shots, and I can't reach anything good with them. How about you? There we go. Oh, look at that. The explosions can actually knock things towards other things. I like that. Virus? Nope. Not this time. I know the score. But what do I do? Because now I'm kind of zoned out by the virus. There we go. Okay, it does go away. And it goes away at a pretty good speed. You just got to watch out for it. Don't get zoned out by the viruses for too long. Bad times ahead. And pop those. Get you. Now, the sound design is outstanding. It has that old school feel to it while still having its own unique vibe to it. Like, I don't- I, I haven't heard sounds just like this before, you know? In- in old school games, sounds are really primitive, but you can always kind of tell if you've heard that kind of sound before, you know? Like, a Mario coin sound, that's iconic. 
these kind of sounds, they're very unique to the game. They're very well designed in the sense that they're, they're memorable for the game itself, but not memorable to anything else. They're really well done. Oh, well, that wasn't the color I thought I had. Shoot. Uh, I don't have any purple. I do kind of wish you'd stop giving me bolts for things I don't have, though. Out of reach, I guess that's fine, but if they're not even on the map, that's just harsh. Let's try to combo these if we can. We're playing the risky game here. No red. No red. There we go. Uh, purple. Nah, shoot the purple out. We can get this blue guy over here, though. There it is. Uh, red guy go away. Yellow guy, you're not mine. I can't reach you. Got you, though. And you. And yeah, that's, that's about all I really have to say about this game. I think it definitely has an excellent thing going for it, and I'd love to see it continue its path with uh, high-intensity puzzle action, especially if I can try the multiplayer. I definitely will in the near future. First step, get a friend. That might take a while. And there it is. I still have not amused the gods, but that's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Barricade. Really dig the concept. Really cool. Thank you so much for putting this forward.